Not exactly the matchup everybody had on paper. Number 12, Chapel Hill, and number 7, Northern Guilford in the Eastern Final. Chapel Hill's opening drive. Northern's Trey Marsh with the huge hit. It causes a fumble. Hunter Wade scoops it up and takes it down to the one, and the cheerleaders love it. And on the very next play, CJ Freeman punches it in from a yard out. Extra point, no good. So it's 6 0. Moments later, Nighthawks with the ball again. Cam Harris is going to toss it deep in the direction of Trey Marsh. And look at this. Kind of looks like both guys have possession. Initially ruled a pick. That call was overturned, and that would set up this. It's Mr. Freeman again. If it worked the first time, it might work the second, and it does. He's in 13 0 Northern, and Johnny Roscoe is thinking about a return trip to the 3 AA final. Chapel Hill would eventually get on the board. Jeff McNeil weaving through traffic and stretching in for the score. Northern still led 20 to 7. At halftime. In the second half, the birds would pull away for good. What a night for Mr. Marsh, leaping through a couple of defenders. He's in for the score. Another one from Cam. These guys are good. 34 to 15 is your final score. The Nighthawks are playing for it all again. Uh, I don't even know who we're playing. It don't matter. Just give us the opportunity. We're going to show up. I will say that. We had a lot of trials and tribulations during the season, but we overcame that. We, we won it together as a team. Uh, it's no better feeling right now. Uh, as you can see, everybody's really excited. And there they are holding up the 3 AA trophy. The title game is now officially set. Northern Guilford and the five seed Weddington. Coach Roscoe doesn't care. It's the Warriors that his team will play. And they will play one week from Saturday at 8 p.m. in Raleigh. Johnny Roscoe out for his fourth championship in the last five years. That is something. 